This video is about some of the hidden features in FileMaker 18. Be sure to check out the description for links to all of the new feature videos and the free course at Productive Computing University for all the videos in one place. First up is an enhancement in moving layout objects. This may seem like a small enhancement, but it is actually 10 times better than what we had before. In our layout, if we go to the position part of the inspector, I want you to notice the 90 here for the top. In the past, we have simply used an arrow and it moves one at a time. But now, if you hold the shift key down, it goes 10 at a time with each arrow movement. Going to the right, one without shift, and with shift. With shift, without shift. So I know I will definitely be using a lot of shift in layout design. The next one is opening files using URL. This one is not necessarily a new feature, but it's an enhancement to the feature. So in the past, in 17, we already had this feature of opening file using a URL, but let's look at the difference between 17 and 18. We'll jump to the open version specific URL link. This says you can now use the FMP18 scheme and URLs to open files specifically with FileMaker Pro 18 Advanced or FileMaker Go 18. So we'll look at this link, which is very similar to this link and notice right away we've got this difference here. This is what we used before in 17. So we still have that, but they've added this FMP XX where XX is the major version number of the application. Only the specified version of the application handles URLs with this scheme. Nearly everything else is the same as it was in 17. You still have some options here of the documents folder, a dollar sign if it's already open, and the IP address, so those are all the same. In the notes, we have the exact same notes. And in the examples, we have just a couple of more because we're now allowed to use this 18 whereas these examples, none of those have the version number. This will be extremely helpful if you're ever running two versions of FileMaker on the same machine. The last honorable mention is opening a specific app at launch. The open app at launch is used only in the installer if you're dealing with runtime delivery of applications. And we have this additional command line here that you can actually enter in the name of the app. This is in the assisted install.txt file. And you can read more about that in the distributing runtime solution area and this specific feature is going to be a part of the installation program or installer software. So if you are doing any of those, you are going to definitely like that feature. Those are some great features, not complicated enough for individual videos, but definitely worth mentioning honorably. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the description for links to other new feature videos for FileMaker 18 and the free course at Productive Computing University for all of the videos in one place, as well as other courses to enhance your skills as a FileMaker developer.